Good morning, my planner friends. Julie Deal Mooney here to do a walkthrough of my October 2020 uh, Cocoa Daisy um, Flannel and Frost Kit. And um, as always, if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when I put out new videos. So let's get started. So, um, I am going to tell you, I have my cup of coffee here with me this morning because it is morning and I just got started, but it's a busy, crazy day for me and this is the only time I can film. So I am going to take a break every once in a while and drink my coffee while it's still warm. And so to start with, I have this beautiful swag from Fur and You this month um, and it has this white pumpkin on it and I just love it, love it. So that's so pretty. Um, the kits this month did not come with a pouch. And so um, I just went back through all of my pouches and found this one from uh, Autumn Whimsy. And it is available on Etsy. So if you don't have a pouch for this month and you are a pouch lover like I am, um, you can go on Etsy and grab one of these bags pretty easily. Um, the bow was like a hair tie bow. It went on a little elastic that went in your hair that I found at Joann's and, and it was a pack of two. There's another one back in the planner somewhere else. And then this cute little owl is from Calibri Charms. So I have not transferred all my stuff over to the pouch. So it's nice and flat right now. I think I do have my um, two, excuse me. <clears throat> I got a frog in my throat. I do have my two extra um, pen refills in there and that's the only thing that's in there right now. So as soon as I get, um, I, as soon as I transfer from my other planner that my solstice planner that I'm working on now, I'll put all my stuff in here. Off the way. Uh, the second thing is I am using the um, zippered uh, sticker pocket from um, April, I think it was. And so I just slipped a piece of the flannel and frost paper inside there, one of the striped pieces. And um, from the uh, memory keeping kit. And so then on the back side, I just have stickers. I just have my stickers in there. Um, there's a ton of stickers in there. And um, and if you get a lot of stickers like I do and you have a hard time, you feel like you're always rumbling through them, I um, I divide mine out and I paper clip them. So these are little ones because I just kind of know what comes on the little sheets. And these are like icons and words and numbers and um, headers, that kind of thing. These are the Hobo Week, so that's pretty easy. These are decorative boxes or, um, yeah, decorative boxes. That's pretty much what that is. And anything else that goes on those sheets. And then these are boxes if I want to um, write something in them. And there is a little bit of deco on them too, but these, the but, but the, the driving factor of this one, and see there are some decorative boxes here, but the driving factor here is that if I want a sticker to write on, which is where I am in the month. Like now I've gotten most of the major things stuck down, and then these are my stickers and so that I made myself. And so you can see I've used most of my words already. So um, yeah, I have put down a lot of stickers already. And... Um, so there's that. Oh, and dangling from that is a tassel from I am not sure what kit. That was an old kit. And then I have um, this leaf dangle and a corn from Two Weeks on Mars. So there's that. Let me get that out of the way. All right, so let's get into the planner. It's pretty fat. Oh, and um, I have this ginormous tassel over here that I made myself. Um, the yarn is really thick and so it just kind of lent itself to this really big tassel. Um, I can't decide if I like it or not but it is really big and so it makes me laugh mostly. Um, so I'm leaving it there because I think it's cute but it's giant. So here we go. Um, so on the um, inside pocket I have one, two, three, four, five pocket cards from the memory keeping pocket kit. And then I have the flannel and frost card that comes with all of the kits. And on the back of it, it has a little description of um, 
the inspiration for the kit and that sort of thing. And um, let's see, we have a striped bow from the planner add-on kit that that's just so cute. And then this bow was from the planner classified, the classified planner kit. And um, this little tiny fall clip was either from, I think it was from Memphis season, November of 2019. And then the um, vellum, the foil vellum is from the um, classified planner kit. And that little cutie with a little coffee cup and a pumpkin is from Two Weeks on Mars as well. Um, most of these from Two Weeks on Mars I bought last year. So I think that she still has them in the shop. I'm not really sure to tell you the truth. Um, so I'm going a little more simple with my pockets these days. Um, and like I put this in my pocket and just because I wanted to take just that initial photo of this kit. And then I've just kind of left it there. So I'm not saying for sure that that's exactly what my pocket's going to look like for the rest of the month. I may change that up. But um, for now, that's what it is. And then I just tucked a little die cut in there. And it's not even stuck down. It's just tucked in right now. Um, from, I think that's from the planner kit. It it has that look about it. I've gotten to where I kind of know what the die cuts look like. The ones that are pictures are generally either from the planner kit or the planner add-on kit. So, um, so this page is from the loose sheets and I usually don't use it. I usually just use it for archival purposes, but I just like, I like the quote, life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. I like the way it looks. I like everything about it. So I decided to use it in my planner this month. I'll probably grab a piece of acetate and put it there just because this one's very bumpy. And if not, it's just gonna put dents in this paper. I think it already has. Oh yeah, right there at 2020. So I need to get a piece of acetate there, but I just haven't done it yet. And on the back, it has a month uh, listed here. And then um, my first divider is my month at a glance divider. And I have gotten in a real habit of putting a washi page here. So I do something with washi on this dashboard. And so this month I found this um, uh, on Pinterest. I found a thing where it went down in a chevron. And um, so I did it. But I wasn't really good about how I picked my washi. So like this side was way lighter than this side. And it's not that noticeable once I put this thing on top of it. But it was really noticeable before I put this on top of it. So that's really why. A lot of times I just leave the washi page as is. But um, I just didn't. It was really light over here and really darker over here. So um, yeah. So um, I think... All of the washi, except for this just plain tan one, is from Coco Daisy. Um, let's see, the foiled one is from the planner kit. This brown floral, I think, was from September of 2019. Might have been October, not sure. Um, this dotted one is from the planner add-on kit. The yellow one was from the January Noted collection. The wood one is from the uh, Classified Planner and the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And like I said, the tan was from my stash. And then um, the large pocket card was from the Planner Add-On Kit. And I just backed it with a little piece of craft paper that I think was from my stash. And then um, these two vellum leaves were from uh, November, Memphis season. And um, I went back to look to make sure that that was where they were from. And um, I think they're from the pocket memory keeping kit. So there are several things that I used that are from the pocket memory keeping kit for Memphis season, which is November of last year, which that kit is still available and it's currently on sale as I'm doing this video. So if you're really interested in this and then there are a couple of other things, this set of vellum pieces was just gorgeous. Kind of like we have the vellum leaves this month that were gorgeous too. Um, so this little acorn clip, once again, is from Two Weeks on Mars. It's just a little felt pom-pom with a top to it. I just thought that was so cute. And then on the back of this, okay, so this sheet of paper here is the back cover of my Dory book. Um, let's see if I can put my hands on that. So 
this is, I have uh, two of them. So this is one of them that I cut up. And so it is this page where I cut the Dory book up and it says Coco Daisy on it. So I just ran, um, so I trimmed off this piece right here from the craft cover to make this little belly band right here. And then the backer paper for the um, Autumn Colors pocket card is packaging. Uh, this kind of, nope, that's a pocket card. Uh, this kind of packaging right here. So, um, yeah, so I was trying to make use of lots of different things when I was doing that. And um, I always, this page in the uh, Dory book is one of my favorites as far as art, artwork goes. Um, it's just look at it oh my gosh it just has the most beautiful artwork sometimes and so um I try to figure out a way that I can use it so uh putting that little belly band in a pocket card on there was a perfect way and it made gorgeous gorgeous um I didn't like the way this looked with the next page up so I just shoved a dash this October dashboard in here just to give it a break and, and because I love this dashboard and I love this dashboard, both of these are from the dashboard kit. Um, I just did, this was too much going on, these two pages together. So, um, so I just put that in there. So here is a month on one page that is from the uh, Dory book. And I've glued these together. And then um, my goals and intentions. I did not come up with this wonderful idea right here. I think... Oh gosh, I don't want to give someone credit that it's not theirs, but I think it was Dawn Brown. I think I saw her do it one time when we had these um, glitter swirlies. And so um, the paper is from the planner kit. And I just um, took a page from the Dory book and put on top of it and cut it out right here where the little swirlies were. And I did a little stamp down here from uh, the pocket memory keeping kit. And these letters, these goals and intentions letters, were from a previous kit. I am not sure what month. I purchased them on from the Etsy shop, uh, the Coco Daisy Etsy shop. And they still have some pink letters like this. If you really like these tall letters like this, um, there are some pink ones still there. They didn't have this color anymore. Uh, I bought like several different colors, whatever they had when they had them. Um, and then these little letters here were a freebie um, with the uh, Classic Planner Sticker Kit. So I guess last month the Fs were missing out of a set of alphabet stickers, which I didn't even notice because I didn't need an F. I did need an F this month, so it all worked out. Um, but so Coco Daisy was so sweet, they gave an extra set of stickers. And so that's what these are that I use for my headers. And then this is just ready for me to write it in. Um, on my intentions page, I have a little leaf punch. And so I punched this paper out of um, memory keeping paper. So I just punched the leaves out to put them over here for the headers for my intentions for the month. So uh, this is all set up and ready for me to fill it in. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit because we are a few days before the beginning of the month. So I want to get kind of closer to the beginning of the month before I put in my goals and intentions. And same with my currently. I will fill this out when it gets closer to the month because sometimes I've filled out my currently page early. And then by the time I get to the month, I'm already done, like, especially like watching. Like if I binge watch something, then I'm done with it by the time that month actually gets here. So I wanted to wait on that. So um, once again, use those letters. Um, and then I used washi up here to make this background, the wood one and the foiled one. And then um, these hexagons came from the planner add-on kit. And I just have those there for the different uh, categories that I'm gonna write the currently things that are going on in my life. And then uh, this is a piece of uh, film transparency that I printed. This is a printable. It is a uh, it was pocket card size, and I just enlarged it on my printer until it was big enough to uh, fit a whole A5 page. And I printed it on transparency paper, and then I laminated it with um, three mil laminate. So it's you know it's the transparency paper and the three mil laminate. So it's thicker than three mil laminate, but sometimes I do these on ten mil. So it's not as thick as my bookmarks, but it's it's pretty sturdy. 
So um, I just liked that because this is my prayer page and um, I printed the word prayer. I just ran this page through my printer. And so it kind of gives that a little, it hides it a little bit. Um, not that I have it open on my currently page that often, but um, static electricity makes it kind of stick together too. And so if someone, sometimes people ask to look at my planner. And so if they do that, I can just say, oh, my prayers are underneath there and flip it. Just because locally, if someone reads my prayers, um, usually they're not like, super, like, I don't go into real detail because I know what the detail is in my brain. Um, but I don't want Sam to know I'm praying for Susie because then he's like, oh, what's up with Susie? Because can you tell I live in a small Southern town? So anyway, there's that. Um, so here is my monthly spread. Um, I do make little stickers up here and I switch this so that it starts on Monday. Um, people have been confused. I think more when I take a picture, um, because they're like, hey, how'd you get yours to start on Monday? Um, I want all of my weeks to start on the same day. And I like Monday because then Saturday and Sunday go together like a weekend, like it does in my head. Okay, I'm going to take a break and drink some coffee. Like I need any coffee to be talking any faster, but whatever. Um, oh, yeah, that's nice. Coffee is good. Um, so, yeah, I like my weekends to be together. And when I did this... I'm going to go back in and put some deco stickers in here, but I left it like this on purpose to videotape it so that you can see how end loaded my life is. Like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I got things going on. Monday through Thursday, I have a few things going on, but not really that much. Um, yeah, it's mostly my weekend, but it is football season. So a lot of this is high school football. Um, my husband and I are big football fans, and then Ohio State football starts this weekend. I'm not sure if it's Friday or Saturday, but I couldn't fit it on Friday because I had other things going on. So, yeah. So, there's my month. And then this page is always my... Oops, I forgot this little clip. I forgot this little clip. Go back. Um, this cute little fall felt leaf clip is so cute from the planner kit. Um, I love it. It is like one of my favorite things in, in all of the kits this month. And there are a lot. I have a lot of favorites this month. I mean, I really feel like they knocked, um, the Coco Daisy crew knocked it out of the ballpark this month. So this page I use for, um, I focus on declutter. Um, someone, Laura Shaw on the um, Coco Daisy fan page the other day, someone asked what you use this page for. And she said, and this was the best answer ever, and I'm going to do it for 2021. Take a photo and put your favorite photo of the month right here. And um, and I have like, um, what's it called? Uh, sticky dots, glue dots that are removable. So then I can just remove my um, photos and move them to the next month. So I think I'm just going to fill it up with a year of photos next year. But I have loved this focus on declutter. This is a great thing because it's one project a month. At the end of the year, your house is decluttered. It's really nice. Like, I still, like, let's see, organized linen closet was January. I still go in my linen closet and go, oh my gosh, this is so nice. It's so organized <laughs> here. It really is nice. So, um, it, yeah, my linen closet was a train wreck. So, um, Oh, no, not really the, the laundry closet. Well, both the linen closet and the laundry closet. But the laundry closet is the one that I go in. And, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's so nice. Because you used to not even be able to step into it. It's kind of long and narrow. And now you can because it's all neat. So um, this is my autumn bucket list page. I haven't filled it out yet. Um, but I am so happy with how this turned out. So I used that wood washi. Um, I think it's from the, uh, I can't even remember. I just said it a minute ago. Classified planner and traveler's notebook memory keeping kit. Um, the paper was one of the dashboards, which I really like this. I used this one and I used the personal size of this, um, this page. I thought it was really cute. These little flags up here, I cut out of the, um, color block week on one page. And if you can see that mark right there, I, there was some goo on it and I took a gum eraser and tried to get it off and it took the color off, but I'm just not going to worry about it too much. Um, but yeah, I cut up the color block. We go on one page and made little page flags out of them. And 
that was really cute and I'll do that again um, because I struggle with what to use that page for and it's so pretty like I like it so much and then I had leftover let's see and I'd like to use it um, let's see this is what I had left over after I cut it apart and I thought that well, that would make really cute you know you could put it up here and you could put something over here. I haven't done that yet, but in my head, it's still sitting back there that I have this little little piece that I could run along the side of a page. Um, so yeah, so there's that. So, um, oh, and best trick ever. This one came from Rachel Newman. Um, take one of your pieces of packaging, and as you cut up and you have little pieces of leftover paper, put it in here, it makes it so much easier to find. And then you can just sit it in your tray or whatever you keep your stuff in. And then it's so easy to get your little extra, when you're looking for a little scrap, your scraps are all together. So that was an excellent, excellent tip. Um, so back to this, um, the puffy leaf came in several kits. It came in the memory keeping pocket kit, the planner kit, and the traveler's notebook. So both the memory keeping kits and the planner kit. And, um, then the glitter dots came in both of the memory keeping kits and then the hexagons came in the planner add-on and then the die cuts came in the memory kits of one or the other um both of them have lots of little word die cuts and i don't remember and then i put a little tab up there for that and so this is a um dashboard but it's also my autumn bucket list and i didn't have one that i didn't have a sticker that fit right there and i said this in my last uh, video. I don't really read them. Like once I put them on here, I know first sticker is month, second sticker is my planner list, third sticker is my daily weekly, fourth sticker is budget, fifth sticker is notes. Like I just know this. This is how I set my planner up every month. So it doesn't really matter what I stick on these things. So whatever the stickers are that come with the Coco Daisy kit, when I use these stickers, I just make them say that. Now if I write out, if I type out the stickers myself, I will make them actually say planner you know, planner plans or whatever. But um, yeah, there's that. So on the back of this, I just used this pumpkin patch dashboard, which is so cute. Like the dashboard kit was phenomenal this month. I mean, all of them, I liked them all. Um, and then I just put this washi on it here um, just to give it, it looked very white. And so just to give it a little edge on the top and bottom. So this is my um, list of what I wanted to do for my planner. And uh, this is a bow that I made. And so mostly I'm done. You can see I marked it off with a little orange pen that came with our kits, this little lip pen, which I want to use a whole lot more this month. I really like it. Um, I created this page right here because I didn't have my kit and I wanted to go ahead and make my list. And um, hats off to Coco Daisy. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't like the colors. Um, like mixing up these little, these little, uh, wash of color, which Coco Daisy does so well. This is the first time I've ever tried to do it before. Mine looks like a kindergartner threw some paint down on the page, but, but it works for this. This is just, um, and there's more to my list back in here. And then I did, well, and I made this page for layouts, but then, <laughs> I didn't have this planner with me because I wasn't using it. Um, I'm still using my solstice planner. And so I just used a sheet of, I have this great paper that, um, that is like this. And like, this is where I like to do layouts now. I just started doing it this month, but this is, there's an example of a layout that I'm doing for December daily. But this page is great because I can make lists of what I need or what I want to use. And then I can, I can do like six layouts on this paper. So I like that paper for that. Oh yeah, back over here. So my next uh, dashboard is, um, my daily weekly and uh, that bow is from Lily and Lila Co. And I'm going to zoom in here right on the edge of the um, craft paper so that you can see I stamped that with um, one of the stamps from the memory keeping pocket kit, the little lines, um, just to give it a little bit of extra texture. It just looks kind of plain with the craft paper and it's very subtle, but it adds a little something to it. But, um, cause it didn't really need a whole lot cause the pocket is a lot. Um, the Hello Autumn 
is from November Memphis season. Um, and that's the one that came, that's the one was from November of 2019. And this is also in that memory keeping pocket kit that's on sale now at the shop. Um, the glitter dots came from both of the memory keeping kits. I made this little book plate specifically to fit this little Hello Autumn on it. This little jute ribbon was in my closet, in my stash somewhere. Um, I don't know what from. It hadn't even been open. It's so ridiculous. I, I mean, do y'all do this too? Like ribbon. Ribbon's the one that I'm really bad about. I will find ribbon that has not been opened in my house. And I'm like, what did I buy it for? Like, why, why do I have ribbon that I've never opened before that I can't even remember buying. So it's probably been five years ago that I bought it. Anyway, I digress. Um, the doilies, oh my gosh, I love these doilies, came in the classified planner kit. And then this glassine bag is um, from the um, packaging. I can't remember which one, maybe the pocket memory keeping kit, or I think there's a couple of them that, that, we get glassine bags for. And so I took a punch and I punched, this is packaging paper um, from the back. Um, this was a dashboard and I punched all of them with the same punch because it kind of looks like the, um, the uh, doily right there. So let me get this back in here. Okay, so yeah, you can see the punch on the um, glassine bag better if I do that like that. And um, then this gratitude was from the 2019 November Memphis season. Um, there was a whole set of um, gold and green vellum ephemera and um, some words and some leaves. And, um, and there, was, there was a lot in it. And so it's not that I didn't use it, but, but that I had still had some left over. So... Um, I went back through my kits and found that, and um, so I used that gratitude there. So I am, this page is just, I'm going to make a list of things um, I, that are just gratitude moments worth remembering for the month. And um, I stamped it there with, um, gosh, that was the memory keeping pocket kit stamp. Um, and so I'll just make a list of gratitude moments for the month. And then on the back of that, this is like an overachiever dashboard. It's It's got stuff on the front and the back. Um, I made a shaker, a mason jar shaker. Ugh, it's hard to shake when you're, um, when you're holding it up to the camera like that. Um, so I used, let's see, for this mason jar shaker, I used the... This is just still the craft cover from the A5 Dory, and then um, paper from the planner kit, and um, that wood washi again. Um, the twine came in the planner kit. I love when um, when we have fun things like twine and sequins. Um, the sequins came in a couple of kits. They came in the classified planner kit and the memory keeping pocket kit. And so they have little tiny, I don't know if you can see them, they have little tiny leaves in them, which are so cute. And so, um, and then I put these gold tipped leaves that were from the memory keeping pocket kit in there as well. So it was like a mason jar full of leaves. And um, I used this little tag that was from the Traveler's Notebook memory keeping kit, but I decided to use the back side of it. And so I stamped it with, um, stamps from the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit as well. And so I used the little leaves and the autumn to stamp it and put that on there just because it was leaves in the jar and I put leaves on the tag. So that worked out well. Um, this is just a uh, tip in from, uh, or I guess it would be actually a clip in, um, that I use the printable and it's just all of my accounts from work that I need and some purchase order numbers and passwords. I'm gonna put my hand over that because it's got passwords on it. Um, this is something new and different for me this month. Um, it is, uh, I did the same thing that I did back there for It's Fall, y'all. I, it was a, um, pocket card from the printables and I just enlarged it and I typed in the word inbox on it and then printed it on transparency film and trimmed it out. And so I'm going to use these little leaf sticky notes here on my inbox to put notes on things, or I'll just use a, um, 
Sharpie marker to write on it, and then I can just mark it off with, with acetate, just things that, that need to be dealt with. And so um, I saw Rachel Blundell did that, and I just thought it was a cute idea. And so I just, like, totally copied that idea. So there you go. I don't think she used the printable. So um, now we're into my weeks. And so on the first page of my weeks, I always do an overview. Those of you who watch my video, I always say the same thing. She loves my boss. I list things here that I need to talk to her about. Um, I decided to change this one up. It used to be shopping, but now that um, my work is closed to the public, um, I don't have to go shopping. So I just put dinners what and what I'm going to um, cook that week. And then I keep up with my work hours here. And I'd like to say I keep up with my hydration here, but I really don't. I just put that sticker down. And I think about keeping up with it, but I don't. So here is week 40, the first week of this planner. And um, I'm going to... So this is my bookmark. And all of my bookmarks for all of the weeks look the same. Um, let's see. That one works. And um, I took the um, printables, and I just like this because it's got a calendar here, and it's got the weekends marked off in color. And so that just seemed very helpful. And so I did all of my weekly and my today dashboards with, um, with that piece of artwork. And so if you are interested in how to make these, they're pretty simple. It's pretty much a print and laminate and cut situation. Um, there is a video on it. And um, I also show you how to find artwork if you're not using the free printable artwork. So I'm going to set that off to the side because it's easier to see the spread. So this is my first spread uh, or my spread for the first week. And um, these cute uh, day of the week stickers came from the uh, plan classified planner kit. And then um, the um, numbers came from the planner add-on kit. Most of the other stickers, that's kind of a mix, but um, either printables or I made them or they're Coco Daisy. It's mostly mine, though, I think. Um, I make stickers that coordinate specifically. Um, I go through the A5 Dory book and I pick out four or five spreads, however, however many weeks there are. And then I make stickers that are specifically coordinated color-wise to that week. And I also make word stickers. You saw them when I was in my stickers. Um, and so, yeah, I can actually have a before the pinned photo because I have stickers for just about everything. Every once in a while, I forget one. Um, so yeah. And then this next spread is where I keep track of social media or not. Sometimes I'm better about it than others, or I make lists of, um, like things I want to do for my planner. So like filming this video or, um, getting my planner set up, I might make a list of, of, you know, what I'm working on, you know, what I want to get done that day as far as setting up my planner goes. Um, and so I did run these. I did this on this and here, I don't know if you can see that week 40, it's really light, but I ran a lot of things through my printer this month. Um, and that was just quick and easy and fast and, um, really quite easier than making stickers. But, um, you know, you can't, you can't run all of it through your printer, but you can do headers. So I did that on almost all of my pages. Um, these cute day of the week stickers came in the planner add-on kit, I think. Is that right? Uh, yeah. And the numbers came from the uh, memory keeping sticker kit. And, um, and then my today dashboard is just a little wider than my weekly dashboard. Um, and that's so that by feel, I can always find today, the weeks are all the same width, and then my today one is wider. So if I'm looking for today, I can very easily find it um, by feel. If I'm looking for the week, I just go one, two, three, four. I don't ever really like read them. They did they, they wouldn't even need to say what they are on them. But, um, but yeah, so that works. Um, printed this on my printer, so I have the date and then my gratitude and my Bible verse for that day over here. And then the date over here I printed. And um, then this cute little um, clip. I'll pull it off because he's so cute. Little hedgehog. When I was doing the unboxing, um, I know that's a hedgehog. It was the other view of him that I wasn't sure if it was still a hedgehog. Um, 
you know, my, my knowledge of rodents. I'm not even sure a hedgehog is a rodent, but I'm just guessing. It's kind of slim on purpose because, you know, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a hedgehog in person. Like I've seen some cute, I think I sent my daughter a picture of a baby one because I thought it was so cute. I just don't think I've ever really seen one before. So anyway, this cute clip topper back to at hand um, is um, from the classified planner kit. And if you don't have this piece, the only part that comes in the kit is this. And if you don't have this piece, um, then you can get one on the Coco Daisy side. And now I had it on there. I had it on there on purpose to keep these pages clipped together because the rest of this is just daily pages and they look just like this. There's nothing, nothing to see here, people. There really isn't. I haven't written anything on any of them. Um, so we just start over again. This is my overview. Um, so this is just a mix of stickers from the kits. That's the um, sticker kit. This looks like classic sticker kit. I'm thinking that one might be memory keeping. That one's classic. And then I made these stickers myself. And so week 41 is kind of a green, olive green spread with some grays in there. I really like the way that looks. Uh, see, I have a couple. For some reason, the Chamber Golf Tournament, which I knew was happening, I did not make stickers for. I missed it entirely. So, um, yeah. And then the social media page, kind of just like before. And then I have this cute little clip here from Two Weeks on Mars. I like the ones that are um, that have lots of lots of things together that like dangle. I don't know what you would call that. It's like a cluster. That's what it is. A bead cluster. Um, this one I really like. This bow is brown, but it almost looks maroon with this this color here. I really like the way that all looks together. Um, the bow is from Lily and Lilico. Um, that little sticker right there was with the um, Planner Classified Kit. It came with the day headers that are so cute, and I made these. Once again, you know, these stickers are from different kits. Uh, sticker Kit, Classified Sticker Kit. No, yeah, no. Sticker Kit, Classic Sticker Kit, Sticker Kit. Um, and then my week 42, I have to go back in and put my bookmarks back in. Um, this is kind of a bunch of different colors, so um, I've got that all set up. And I think these are mostly my stickers there. There are a few Coco Daisy stickers in here, but I do kind of heavy load them at the beginning with my stickers. And then I come back in with Coco Daisy stickers after I have all the foundational sort of stuff put down. And this is how I like to do my planner. I like my planner to be done at the beginning of the month. And then I add into it as the week goes on, you know, and I, but then I can go back to that week and look and go, oh, what's happening? This week view right here is where I keep track of everything. And so on like Sunday night, I'll sit down and I'll start transferring things to the daily pages. Um, but this really is where I keep up with what's going on. Social media page, the same. Um, this leaf clip was from November Memphis season, I think. Yep, the classified planner kit from Memphis season. Um, and so that was a really cute kit. I was sick in November, so I did not, that November I got, I got the flu or something. And so I did not use a lot of that kit um, because I just, I wasn't feeling well and I wasn't planning. And so I have a lot of that stuff left over. Um, once again, this is my week overview. This adorable little Simon clip. Look, he's got his coffee. Cheers, Simon. Cheers. Um, and a little Argyle sweater. How cute is he? Oh, let me know. Let's take a moment and admire Simon, a.k.a. Julie's going to drink her coffee. That was good. He's so cute, and he's, he kind of coordinates so nicely with this kit. So here he goes. Um, all right, and then week 43. Um, I purposefully kind of got more into the whole orangey pumpkin this week because this is the week before um, Halloween. And so um, these cute stickers were from the, the days of the week, were from the uh, classified planner kit. And then the numbers are from the memory keeping kit. And then um, 
The clipboards are from Coco Daisy. And oh no, maybe that one's mine. Um, and then uh, the rest of them are mostly mine. And then this is another bow from Lily and Lila Co. And I am going to do, um, so this is the last week in my October planner because I have sitting off to the side, I'm so excited about this, my, um, look at that. Um, this is my Halloween week planner. And so right now I haven't really done anything with it. Um, I haven't gotten my Halloween kit yet. And um, so I have just a few of these pieces from the, these vellum pieces from the August kit that I did not use, but I thought they might really be cute at Halloween. And I've wanted to use this Coco Daisy Classified. And so it kind of looks like he's got a costume on. Simon's got a costume on. And so, um, yeah. And so this pen um, is black and white. I think it says something. Oh, the secret ingredient is always love. So that was from August of 2019. But I thought that looked nice with it. And so, um, and I made my own fake Coco Daisy pages for Halloween. So my spread is ready to go. So I am just waiting for the Coco Daisy Halloween kit to get to me. And then, um, and that is just going to be for one week. And so, um, I'm probably going to do a few dashboard, a couple of dashboards for that. I don't think I'll go into all five of these. I definitely won't do the planner one because I don't need that section. Um, and I may just put the notes in the background. I, I don't, I'm not exactly sure what, how much I'm going to do for that kit, but I am going to set up a totally just separate planner for that week. So we get out of that. So then, um, this says October goals, but it is my financial section. And um, I did another, I was all about the shaker cards. This, oh, I don't want to pull that up because then you're going to see it. Um, I was all about the shaker cards. So this one is like a tree and the sequins are the leaves. And um, so I made that on my silhouette. Um, the paper is from Memory Keeping Papers. And um, I made the window with my silhouette. I cut the tree out with my silhouette. The paper in the back back there is a memory keeping page. And then the sequins, like I said before, planner classified kit and the memory keeping pocket kit. These little sunflowers were from my stash. I cut this um, little scallop circle with my silhouette out of a piece of the memory keeping paper. And then the die cuts were from the memory keeping kits. So um, yeah, I... I went like shaker crazy this month because there were sequins in the kit and it just got my creative thoughts flying that way because here I have another one. So I'm going to start over here. So um, this cute little Simon card, I just thought he was so cute. So he got his own pages this month. Um, and so this was memory keeping paper. This green gingham paper is a leftover piece. These pieces are leftover pieces for, um, you'll see back here in my sticker pocket. Um, so I just use them for like a little border for the top and the bottom. Um, Simon came in, come, always, the Simon card always comes in the planner classified kit. And then the puffy leaves came in both memory keeping kits and the planner kit. And, um, and this was planner paper. So yeah, he's so cute. And then I did this, so as I was looking for, because um, I was looking for ideas for shaker cards, and I saw this one, and I thought about putting the yellow sequins in there, but it kind of looked like pee, I'll tell you quite honestly. And so I just went and got some brown ones, brown sequins out of my stash. And so, look, will the world start with coffee? Woohoo! I did not plan this to have my coffee while I was videotaping with this rule the world coffee shaker, but... It all works out. So, um, cut this out on my silhouette. Um, and so what I do, um, if you have a silhouette and you're interested in, in doing something like this, I usually take, I find a I found a coffee cup on the silhouette design store, and then I just offset it to the inside by a quarter of an inch. And then you just print bunches of them and you stack them up so that, um, you know, it gives it some depth so that there's some room for the, sh the sequins to move around. And then I just put a piece of acetate. The top piece is whatever color I want it to be. And so in between the top piece and the second piece, I put slip in a piece of acetate and then I put the sequins in there. And so made a little belly band with this same paper so it coordinated and used the same puffy leaves so these would kind of coordinate. 
and I cut all these world, the rule the world, start with coffee out of my silhouette, out of this wood paper that, um, oh, I can't remember which one this was. Whether that, I think that wood paper planner kit, because I can see a big piece of it back there. So that was from the planner kit. Um, that was kind of a pain, um, because then you have to put glue on the back of every one of those little tiny things. Mm -hmm. And then the die cuts were from the memory keeping kit. So, um, yeah, and this one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. I'm not a huge fan of um, Starbucks, well, or Dunkin' Donuts, like their pumpkin spice, you know, um, whatever their coffee drink is. I like the pumpkin spice flavor, but um, usually they're too sweet for me. So I might have a couple of squirts of the stuff in my regular coffee, but really I kind of like my coffee. I do put creamer in it, but I like my coffee really strong. And so it gets kind of watered down. I guess if I did that and I put like four extra espresso shots in there, I might be okay. Um, this is the other one of these little hair ties down here. Oh, I think I'm off camera. Um, and so, yeah, so made a cute little, I took the, I cut the rubber band and pulled it out and then um, the elastic and then just put it on paper clip. I'm pretty happy with that. And so then uh, happiness, blooms from within, this cute little dashboard from the dashboard kit. And then um, I was searching for a place to put this acetate and it needed to go over something that was primarily white because uh, it's so, it's got so much going on and it's so pretty. So I just put it right there. And this is where um, I just printed out some of the printables and I just use that for note paper during the month as I need, if I need notes for anything. There's that. And then this was just a piece of paper out of my stash, and I just punched the edge of it with that same punch. I kind of stuck with the same punch this month, um, so it all kind of coordinated. And uh, this is kind of textured polka dot paper. It feels good. So I usually put a piece of paper like this that kind of sticks out. One, because I like the way it sticks, you know, when it sticks out here, it gives you visually. You get this little, I don't know if you can see it, um, but you can see it when, when my planner is open like that. And then the other thing is it kind of delineates this. These are my future month pages. So I'm really excited about this. This is totally different this month. So um, it's about that time of the year that people start releasing their um, inserts for 2021. So I started looking at a couple of people's inserts and um, I, I just couldn't find exactly what I wanted. So I decided just to make my own monthly inserts. And so, um, yeah, so I just, because that's kind of just how I roll. So um, then once I got that done, I liked mine so much because they hit everything that I wanted them to do because I, I knew what I didn't. I love the ones I had from last year. I got them from Jane's Agenda, and I really liked them. The paper felt awesome, and there was a lot about them that I liked. There were a couple of minor things, except for they're major for me, um, that they didn't do. And so, um, so that's what I fixed on this. So, um, once I did that, I decided that I just wanted to use them for Oct for September, October, November, and December. So, uh, I made a header for 2020 because my month starts on the left hand page. I just needed something here to make these pages start off right. So, the things that uh, I really needed on my monthly pages, I like having little lines on each of the boxes. It's a little thing but whatever. Um, the other thing I like is, I don't know if you can see it because it's so, t I wrote it so tiny, but um, right here, and I think it's blurry. I can't tell. I don't have my glasses on, so I can see close up, but I can't see far away. Um, it says week 36. So I have the week of the year listed here, and then I have lines on my monthly, pay monthly boxes. And those were the two things that I really wanted for my yearly ins for my monthly inserts for 2021. And I just decided that I needed them now, so I made them. And uh, my trimming was a little off right there. I see a little funky thing. But anyway, so um, I went back and did September and October, and then I just wrote everything in it. And I write everything in here in pencil so that I can erase it and change it if need be. Um, 
the one from Jane's Agenda had a had a like a overview and then it had another page on the back. I decided I did not want that for these because that was it's not that I didn't like that because I did like that, but I have so only so much um real estate from here to here. These rings will only hold so much. And so I did not need an extra page every month. So that was like, you know, 12 extra sheets back here that I just didn't didn't feel like I needed in my planner. And that just gives me a little more room to make another shaker page because, you know, then it gets fat. So, um, so yeah, so I did that for, um, made all of my things and they're not perfect. Like I think there's one in here that's different. Um, but they work for me and they, and so in here I did all of the, um, 2021 week numbers and what the dates are so that, um, I know that I wrote down all of the holidays and I did 2021 at a glance. See, I did it like it was professional and, um, and I, and if I, ha if you haven't heard me say this before, I used to be a graphic designer. And so, um, I also used to, um, design social stationery as a, as like a job. So, um, and I did magazines and periodicals. I've done all kinds of things and, and production is kind of my, my happy place. And so like going, okay, I'm going to make these, these things and I have to do all these little monthly calendars over here. Most people would be like, are you crazy? Who wants to do that? But like, it was just kind of fun for me to do this. And it took, I don't know, a couple hours, three hours, maybe. So, um, I would have been watching TV otherwise. So, so yeah, so I have that for all of 2021. So I've now moved into my 2021. The other thing that I really liked that I did on this was on my last page. I left a little spot to add in things for 2022 so that once I know something's happening for 2022, um, because early in 2021, I will know what some dates are in January and February of 2022 because they get booked before. So um, then I can just write them in here and have those there. So there are my future planner pages. So then my last thing is my sticker folder. And I think I will open this up and take it out. So the sticker folder back here, um, not that I don't have, like you already saw, I'm going to close this just so it doesn't get messed up. I have a ton of stickers in this sticker pocket, but what I don't have in that sticker pocket is all of my alphabet stickers. And so um, this sticker pocket back here is where I keep my alphabet stickers. And this is where I use the Rick Rack that I had the extra piece that I used on the Simon page. I just cut the Rick Rack out. Usually I use actual ribbon, but I like, I love gingham. I really do. And um, so I just cut this out on my silhouette, um, just a Rick Rack file. And so I have a few of these sticky notes here and then the regular notepad here. I had to trim it down to make it fit this month. And then I just have... Um, all of my alphabet stickers in here. Uh, some of them I made myself, like that one. Um, these came with the kits. These are some of those from the Etsy shop. I made those myself, the Etsy shop. Um, that color right there, those were from Memphis season, I think. They're so pretty. It's like a dark, dark, dark teal. Um, so yeah, so I have lots and lots of alphabet stickers. I go through, I keep them in a certain place. I just keep them all together. These came with the kits, came with the kits. Uh, these did not come with the kits. I think these might have come with, um, is it June or July? June, the, um, safari. What was it? A Serengeti. So, um, yeah, so, and then I just go back through them and I pull out any of them that might match. And then when I put them back in here, I make sure that I put, I don't know. I like them to look nice when I put them back in here. I like that one on top. I don't know. Anyway, I can fix that later. So that is my sticker folder that goes in the back of my planner. And um, when I'm putting things in back here, I have to be very careful that everything doesn't overflow over the rings. And then I just did another piece of that um, punched paper. This was just a piece of 
craft paper from my stash. And look, that's the end of my planner. So this pen or pencil, this is a pencil, um, was from Book Club in September, but it is available on the Coco Daisy site. And I don't mind mixing metals. Um, it is rose gold, but it is very folly looking. And so I liked it. And then this pen is just so durable. It's plaid. I haven't even taken the wax thing off of it. Um, I haven't used it yet. It's just all pristine and new sitting in its little holder ready to go for the month. Um, there are gel pens and they have some cute gold crystals in them. And so, um, yeah, so that's my planner for October of 2020. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, click like and subscribe and have a great day. And I'm gonna go finish my coffee. All right, bye-bye.